Please. The best you'll get in Blackpool. Oh, Tar Neville. Thank you. Cheers. Take care. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. Don't want to get me instrument mucky. <laughs> <laughs> hello. Oh, hello, Bobby. It's my friend Bobby. <laughs> How are you, love? How's your chest? <laughs> oh, you want to rub it with something. Mm. <laughs> rub it with some of that stuff in the bathroom. No, no, not that on the floor. It'll send you clean round the bend. <laughs> Sometimes. You've knitted me what? A surprise. Oh, what colour is it? Pink! Oh, my favourite colour. <laughs> what is it? Well, give me a clue. It's four inches long. <laughs> and it's for keeping something warm. <laughs> Dare I ask you? <laughs> you must. Go on, tell me what it is. <laughs> well, I'll see you tonight. Yeah. All right, love. Bye. <laughs> now, then. Well, what was it? An egg warmer. <laughs> what can I do for you? Yeah, what do you recommend? How about a nice piece of cod? Is it fresh? Fresh? <laughs> I'll tell you how fresh it is. Not half an hour ago it was swimming about in the batter. <laughs> All right, then. Cod and chips. Oh, chips. <laughs> Mushy peas? No, just fish and chips. <laughs> Suit yourself. <laughs> Salt and vinegar. Please. That's a bit fifty p. Here we are. Thank you very much. Call again. <laughs> oh, I get better. <laughs> Sorry. Now then, are you Mr. Neville Sutcliffe? Are you the Vat Man? No. In that case, I'm Neville Sutcliffe. <laughs> I'm bold. <laughs> Nothing to be ashamed of. <laughs> that is my name, Bold. Oh, sorry. I'm a solicitor. If it's anything to do with that incident on the beach with that large lady who was here last week on her holidays, that was completely an accident. I was just trying to get my raspberry ripple out of the top of her bikini when her husband came along with the most enormous... No, no. <laughs> no, no, it's nothing to do with that. It is, as we say in our profession, something to your advantage. Oh, I've gone all of a dither. <laughs> Hang on, I'll shut the shop. <laughs> Shall we take a seat? Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> Just a minute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, you fancy a little nibble? Uh, no, thank you, no. I do a wonderful chip, but eh? Yes, I'm sure, yes. Well, what's the good news? Now, Mr. Sutcliffe, what do you know of your antecedents? Antecedents? Now, I've got an Auntie Alice, an Auntie Sarah, an Auntie Fanny. <laughs> no, no, I'll start again. Do you know where you came from? Oh, yes. Squire's Gate Orphanage. I was a little waif and stray left on the doorstep. Yes. Well, I have some information about your parents. You have? I have. I've gone all of a dither again. Now, your father was a soldier who was billeted here in Blackpool, and your mother was a waitress at Yeats's Wine Lodge. <laughs> you were a wartime baby. Your mother and father were two ships that passed in the night. <laughs> Sounds to me as though they had a collision. <laughs> Did they never get married? Uh, no. Oh, I say. <laughs> that means I'm a little... I'm afraid so. <laughs> Your father was drafted abroad before he had news of your impending arrival, so your mother left you at the orphanage, met and married an American and went to live in Texas. Oh, it's worse than crossroads. <laughs> your father got married and had a little daughter. Oh, so I've got a stepmother and half a sister. Uh, no, no, your stepmother died some years ago, and your father went into the rock business. Oh, did he have a group? <laughs> no, not rock and roll, no. He had a factory at Littlehampton. He made sticks of rock. My peppermint balls. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Every Christmas hanging on the tree, a little bag of peppermint balls. Oh, yes, those were from your father. He never forgot you, and now you're in his will. Is he dead, eh? I sincerely hope so. They buried him this morning. 
<laughs> oh, isn't that sad? Now, please don't upset yourself. No, please don't. Oh, no, but it's awful. I can't help it. Yes, stop it or you'll start me off in a moment. Oh, I know, but it's so sad. <laughs> yes, it's, it is tragic. <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Yes, it is terrible. <laughs> oh, just to think, after all these years, I won't get any more peppermint balls. <laughs> like it, Miss Dorothy. Perhaps you'll be on the next one. Who? Your half-brother. He's arriving from Blackpool this afternoon, isn't he? How did you know? Charlie Blackett down the Red Lion told me. Now, he got it from Harry the Postman and he heard it from Mrs Wilmer at the corner shop. It's a wonder it wasn't on news at ten. <laughs> or you. Pardon? I can't accept that. Your weight is 12 stone 7. That's not right. <laughs> no, it isn't. It ought to be 10 stone 2. <laughs> I know what happened. I had it in my hand. <laughs> my suitcase. Where's your railway ticket? There we are. Thank you. Is there a telephone kiosk nearby? Over there. I want to have a tinkle. That's that way. <laughs> <laughs> I want to phone my friend Bobby, let him know I've arrived safely. He's looking after my chip shop while I'm down here. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey, no! Don't be careful where you're poking. It brought tears to my eyes. I wanted to use the telephone. Well, don't worry, dear. You're next. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hello, Bobby, that doesn't sound like you. You've been rubbing your chest with the wrong stuff. It's not Bobby, it's Bobby's Auntie Sissy. Oh, this is Neville. Could you speak up? Neville! Neville's not here, I'm sorry, he's gone to Little Hampton. Sorry! Oh. <laughs> hey! Hey, you're having another? I'm not. I was cut off. Oh. Well, hurry up. All right, all right. Don't get your knickers in a twist. <laughs> Don't worry. It's ringing. Hello? Hello? Auntie Sissy? Yes? This is Neville. Oh, hello, Neville. There was a phone call for you a minute ago. <laughs> that was me, you fool. What do you say? Oh, it doesn't matter. Is Bobby there? He's in the cellar soaking his addicts. <laughs> Shall I get him for you? Well, I don't want to disturb him when he's doing that. Oh, yes, please, yes. Just a minute. <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> Excuse me. You finished at last. Have you got change for 50p? No, I've only got 2p. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> Hello? Hmm? Hello? Oh, hello. It's me again. Where have you been? <laughs> you cut me off. What? Do you, shall I get Bobby again? No, no, no. There isn't time. Look, just tell him that if... if What's I, that? I said there's no time. Just, time! Just a minute. Oh, no. <laughs> She's got the wonders again. It's quarter past. Pardon? <laughs> Time. Oh, look, will you just tell Bobby that if I can't phone... I've had it. My time's up. It's all yours, dear. She's gone. Some people have no patience. <laughs> Taxi! No, it isn't. It's mine. Well, you're both wrong, because it's mine. So why don't you share it? I want marine drive. That'll do me. It right. was your co right. Okay, well, you
One pound fifty, Gav. You owe me 75. Would you believe it? She's done a bunk again. <laughs> I don't know what you're selling, but we don't want any. I'm not selling anything. I'm Neville Sutcliffe. Neville Sutcliffe? Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> I am. Really, Neville Sutcliffe? In the flesh. <laughs> well, yeah, but I, I'm Wolf. Uh, I worked for your dad for years. God rest his soul. <laughs> so you're Neville Sutcliffe. Well, uh, you best come in. Thank you. Oh, I did. Oh, came off in my hand. Oh, uh, th this way, Mr. Neville. Thank you. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Isn't something the matter? I can smell chips. Oh, that's me, I'm afraid. That's one of the penalties of being in the business. The pong tends to permeate. <laughs> oh, so that was my dad. Yes, that was him. God rest his soul. <laughs> well, I'll just go and tell Miss Dorothy here. Chips. I don't know. I don't know why you've missed each other at the station. She could have smelled you half a mile away. So you're my dad then. Do you know, I've often wondered what you look like. Who was a naughty little Herbert? <laughs> Miss Dorothy, that's Mr. Neville. <laughs> it's you! The telephone box. The taxi. You owe me 75p. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Oh, it's me, Neville. <laughs> no, love, no, I didn't sleep very well. I slept in my dad's bed. It's got a flock mattress. <laughs> Trouble was, the flock was moving about all night. <laughs> How are you, anyway? How's your chest? Oh, good. Oh, I must try some of that. Hmm. No, I don't think she likes me very much. I'm about as welcome as woodworm in a wooden leg. <laughs> What's she like? Well, <laughs> she'd turn a bottle of vinegar bitter. <laughs> She puts on a lot of airs and graces, but underneath she's as common as muck. <laughs> you know the sort I mean? Old Persian lamb and no knickers. <laughs> All right, love. I'll phone you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How long have you been there? Long enough. Old Persian lamb and no knickers. Am I? Yeah, well, you shouldn't have been listening. Anyway, you haven't exactly treated me like one of the family, have you? Oh, Oh, why did you do it, Daddy? Because Daddy was in love. <laughs> did you have ham? I beg your pardon? After the funeral, did you have ham? <laughs> Certainly not. Uh, salmon paste. Oh, <laughs> posh, do we? <laughs> <laughs> what does it feel like to have a half-brother? Wholly unpleasant. Now, I know it must have been a bit of a shock to you. It was a shock to me. Well, I suppose you're not entirely to blame. Still, before I fully accept you, you'll have to prove yourself to me. <laughs> we hardly know each other. <laughs> I mean, prove yourself worthy of my respect. Oh, well, I'll do my best. I thought I might pop down to the rock factory this morning. I expect they'll all be hard at it. <laughs> You're staying, are you? Well, of course I'm staying. You know what it said in my dad's will? I have half the house and half the factory. Oh, you have half of everything. You mean there's more? Oh, yes. Thirty thousand pounds. Thirty thousand pounds? Well, you cheeky old devil. <laughs> I didn't know he had as much money as that. He hadn't. That's what he owes. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, 
is quite nice. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I'm... Uh... You don't have to tell me who you are. I can tell by the resemblance. Percy's the name. No, it's Neville. <laughs> I'm Percy. <laughs> Shall I go out and come in again? No, hang on. Well, well, it's arrived. Charming. Wilf's in on control round here, I can tell you. <laughs> Completely... <laughs> This stuff's got a life of its own. <laughs> oh. Morning, Mr. Neville. Morning. How's your rock cock? Oh. <laughs> All right, don't stand there. Go off. Go and fix the others. Oh, right on, Will. <laughs> oh, I can't get over it. Can't get over what? Your face. Well, it's not as bad as that, is it? <laughs> oh, no, no. You're the splitting image of your dad. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Chip off the old block. <laughs> you knew my dad for a long time, then? Yes, I was his sugar boiler for over 20 years. God, God rest his soul. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, how did he, um... He died on the job. <laughs> Must have been nice for him. It was here, here in the works. He was pulling it when he went. <laughs> you know, it's a technical term in the industry. He's pulling the rock lengthways oh, to measure it. That's a relief. Yeah. It was too much for him. He hadn't got another pull left in him. <laughs> what well, a shit. Well, that's life, isn't it? <laughs> I'll tell you something, though. Your dad was a craftsman. Oh, come here. I'll show you something. It'll make you proud of him. Oh, these are our little treasures here. Look, hand carved by your dad out of rock. Oh, <laughs> hey, oh, a titty bottle. <laughs> and another thing, your father was the first one to introduce rock teeth. Oh, my word, <laughs> they look real. They are real. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. They're not your dad's. It's a model he used for his inspiration. I'm glad. I wouldn't like to think of him wandering around heaven without his choppers. <laughs> He was a genius, your father. <laughs> you think I ought to meet everybody? A good idea. And pay attention, everybody. Uh, right, now then, Mr. Neville, this is Marilyn. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Neville. <laughs> My word, you're a big girl, aren't you? Mr. Neville, she's from Bristol. I thought she was. <laughs> you don't get many of them in a quarter, do you? Cheeky. <laughs> she's very good at bending bananas. <laughs> nice to know. Yes. Oh, that's how you do it, is it? <laughs> Shall I let them have a bit, Will? Why not? <laughs> Neville, you fancy a bit. What, here? Yes, why not? Strawberry flavour. <laughs> you can like it. Oh, it's very tasty. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Marilyn. And now, uh, this is Cleo. Hello. <laughs> and what exotic part of the world are you from? Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad? Cock Fosters. <laughs> That's nice. I hope you ain't colour prejudice. Oh, of course not, dear. I love black puddings. <laughs> and then we move on, of course, to Ma. Oh, how do you do? Uh, mm, eh? <laughs> Is she all right? Is anything the matter? I don't know. Oh, looking at you takes me back nearly 30 years when I first came here to work for your father. Ah, uh, I know. She had a soft spot for your dad. Didn't you for his dad? A soft yes. spot. Yes. Yes, we was very close. It was always a pleasure working under him. Yes, I'm sure it was. <laughs> and of course, uh, you've met Percy, haven't you? Yes, thank yes. you very much. Excuse me, Mr. Neville. What is it then? What's going to happen to the rest of us now that Mr. Herbert's gone? What? Nothing. I hope you'll carry on doing for me exactly what you did for my dad. If I was a few years younger, I would. Oh, no. <laughs> Neville! Neville! We've had it. We've all had it. <laughs> you speak for yourself. Now, the bank's been on the phone. They say if the overdraft isn't paid within seven days, we've got to go into liquidation. Oh, Mr. Neville, what are we going to do now? Well, my dear, you carry on bending your bananas. I'll straighten it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just what I needed. Right, everybody. Sit yourselves down. Oh, you have done. Now, just one minute. Now, Neville, what is going on? Calm yourself and all will be revealed. <laughs> Mr. Neville, are you going to strip off? 
Does she never think of anything else? As far as Marilyn's concerned, there isn't anything else. <laughs> now, as you may know, things look very black. You can say that again. <laughs> Not you, dear. But I've solved our problem. How? Well, I've sold my fish and chip shop to my friend Bobby, and the money is going to be paid into our bank today. Oh, marvellous! Oh, oh, great, lovely. Oh. How can we ever thank you? Well, I'm sure I'll think of something. Now, come along. <laughs> Off to work. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Well, Dorothy, you haven't said much. No. It appears that I've misjudged you. You're not really what you seem. No, a lot of people make that mistake. <laughs> Thank you very much for what you've done. It's the least I could do. Don't worry, Dad. We won't let your rock works crumble. <laughs> There's plenty of good pulls left in us. <laughs> And this is what I want. Hundreds of them coming off the assembly line. We must keep going like we did before, keeping the wheels of the Little Hampton Rock Factory turning faster than ever. Percy, yeah. turn the wheel and let's get yeah. cracking. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Bobby always said I'd come to a sticky end. <laughs> I don't know which end he meant. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for watching. Hope we'll see you next week. Good night. God bless. <laughs>